Hey, my name is Mark Romanak, and we're going to do a test ride video on the 210 Fishmaster by StarCraft. This is StarCraft's largest big water boat, and as you can see, it's a lot of fishing machine. The Fishmaster 210 is 20 foot 10 inches long down the center line, has a whopping beam of 101 inches, and a maximum horsepower of 250 ponies. Hey, let's do a quick synopsis of the Fishmaster 210. It's big, it's wide, it's deep. This is a boat that's ideally suited for Great Lakes bodies of water, Lake Erie, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Lake Ontario. What about the Western Reservoirs? You bet, it'd be an ideal boat for those big waters of the Western Reservoirs where big waves are a common occurrence. This boat has got it going on if you like the big seas. Let's take a look at the console of the 210 Fishmaster. What's going to jump out at you very, very quickly is this big, large open area here on the console. What this is designed for is flush-mounted sonar. You can put up to a 9-inch sonar unit flush-mounted right here on your dash. Now that is very, very cool. Also, some other nice features, you're going to see steering wheels that are adjustable. You can tilt it up or you can tilt it down for your comfort. Of course, you got lots of room up here uh, for mounting other accessories. Say, for example, you wanted to mount a secondary graph or maybe a GPS. You've got a flat space here that you could mount it. And then all of these toggle switches here are all in the same place, easy to get to, and they run all of your important functions. Of course, the Fishmaster 210 is a walkthrough windshield design, and you'd expect that in a boat of this size. But what you might not expect is how high the windshield is. You can see that I'm sitting comfortably in the captain's seat here, and the windshield is over my head. Now you're asking maybe why would they do that? It's because it gives the occupants much more protection. Also allows you to put a bimini top on this boat so you can actually stand up and fish inside the bimini. That's a very, very nice feature in a big water fishing boat. If you're looking for a fishing boat that's got a lot of storage, look no further than the Fishmaster 210. You're not going to find a boat in this class with any more storage than this boat has going on. There's a little step up right here that I thought was unique. You open it up and there's a large box in here, plenty big for all the Plano boxes you want to carry on board. But that's only part of the storage that this boat has to offer. You know, we've talked a little bit about storage and we're going to talk some more about it because the storage in this boat goes on and on. These little bags like this are very common for guys to store their tackle in. Well, what they've done in the 210 Fishmaster is they've built these little trays that are ideally suited for holding these in place. So underneath the counter, both on the passenger side and also the driver's side, you've got these little trays that are going to be perfect for holding an extra tackle bag. We're still sitting at the console and we're still talking about storage. There's a ton of storage in this boat. Of course, the glove box is huge. It's going to collect all those odds and ends you're looking for a convenient place to keep the eye. We'll go down here and take a look. I drop this door down and these utility boxes come out. There's two of them. What a perfect place to store terminal packs, swivels, hooks, that type of stuff. I'm telling you, there is so much storage in this boat. It's absolutely amazing. I'm sitting on the port gunnel of the 210 Fishmaster, and it's nice and wide up here. What I like about wide gunnels is they're ideally suited for putting things like this track mounting system that you see here. This boat comes standard with four pieces of track, which is going to be ideally suited for mounting things like your downriggers and your rod holders, maybe your rod trees. All of those things will slip inside this track when you need them, and they can be easily taken out and stowed when you don't need them. The cool thing about this boat is that this track feature is standard on this boat. You know, the other nice feature about having wide gunnels in a fishing boat is it gives you lots of space underneath the gunnel to store even more stuff. In the case of the Fishmaster 210, it's rod storage. You've got integrated rod storage on both the port and starboard side for a total of eight rods. As long as we're up here in the bow, let's talk about some of the other features that are up here on the bow. Of course, this is where you're going to find the live well. The live well is huge, plenty big for things like salmon, musky, pike, walleye, ideally suited for big water species. You also got a dry storage up here that's going to be ideally suited for your electric motor batteries. And there's enough room to put three batteries up there for a 36 volt electric motor if you choose. Now a boat of this size, you're going to need a 72 inch shaft of an electric motor. And I'll tell you what, they're out there, they're readily available, and you can use an electric motor to help control this boat on the big pond. You know, one of the features that really jumps out in the Fishmaster series are these cutout transoms, and I like them for a variety of reasons. For one thing, they've got these jump seats in them, and you can pull this jump seat out if you want. Now you've got access to the back of the transom, so I can get back here and I can net fish, or I can set line. So that's a really nice feature of being able to get me further back to the back of the boat. So these cutout transoms are just ideal for the fisherman who's going to do things like downrigger fishing or trolling with planer boards. You know, the theme of this video has been storage, storage, and more storage, and there's no doubt 
that the 210 Fishmaster has a lot of that. In fact, we haven't talked about on both sides in these cutout transom areas are doors that hide your cranking battery. So you can put a cranking battery on the port side. You can also put a cranking battery on the starboard side. Now, why do you need two cranking batteries? Well, if you're a big water fisherman and you're using downriggers, you're using up a lot of electricity. So it's really nice to have two cranking batteries on a boat of this nature. I promise, this is the last I'm gonna talk about storage in the Fishmaster 210, but we've got several more important storage areas we have to talk about. How about this integrated little space right here? Just ideal for throwing small things like planer boards. Down below it, when you open this one up, you've got all the room in the world in here for plano boxes. You can store all you want in here. Close that up, and then if we go down to the floor, we've got this in-floor storage that's just huge as well, and you can put much more tackle in there, bulky items like your life jackets, maybe your dock lines, an anchor, that type of thing, all fits in this boat. Everything stows in its place, and I think that's a nice feature in the Fishmaster 210. You know, another one of the features that's worth talking about that comes standard equipment with the Fishmaster 210 is this washdown pump. Now, this is not an ordinary washdown pump. When you turn this thing on, it's got all the power you need to blast the grime off your vinyl floors and wash it right down the scuppers. A washdown pump, you just don't see it in many boats. It's a nice feature in the Fishmaster 210. Just a final wrap up on the Fishmaster 210. A lot of vinyl in this boat, that's a great thing because it's easy to keep clean. It's big and it's wide and it's deep. It's an ideally suited boat for the guy who's looking to fish big water. If you want to learn a little bit more about the 210 Fishmaster, I recommend going to StarcraftMarine.com and check it out online. Also, you might want to go to your local dealer and see this one in person. It's a big and very impressive fishing boat.